boat takes two hours to travel downstream a river from port A to port B and three hours to return to port A. Oops. So, A to B, this is downstream, this is two hours, coming up is three hours. Right. So, another boat takes a total of six hours to travel from port B to port A and return to port B. The speeds of the boats in the river are constant and the time in hours taken by the slower boat to travel from port A to port B is nice. Two hours, three hours. Time taken is two hours to three hours. Speed ratio should be the other way around. So, up downstream speed to upstream speed. Sorry. Speed downstream is to speed upstream. This 3 is to 2. I can imagine 3 is to 2 as 6 is to 4. Then I can think of this as 5 plus 1 is to 5 minus 1. Or what am I, where am I heading with all of this? We know downstream speed is boat speed plus stream speed. Upstream speed is boat stream minus stream speed. So, B plus S is 6, B minus S is 4 or boat stream is 5, speed is 5, stream speed is 1. I am not saying that 5 and 1, ratio of 5 is to 1. And so, so I am going to say speed of boat 1 is 5k speed of stream is k. So, 5k plus k is 6k, 5k minus k is 4k, ratio is 6 is to 4, 3 is to 2, so time taken should be in the ratio 2 is to 3. Right? The distance between these two is where d, then we are told d by 5k plus k, d by 5k minus k. These are the times taken. This is 2 hours. This is 3 hours. 5k minus k, I have written 5k minus 5. Okay. So, 6k, d by 6k is 2 hours, or d is equal to 12k. 12k by 6k is 2 hours, 12k by 4k is 3 hours. And so, now we have got speed of boat 1 to be 5k, stream to be k, distance to be 12k. Right. So far so good. So that it nicely works to be 2 hours and this is in kilometers per hour, that is in kilometers, everything works out, the units cancel out, all of that. What do we need to find? We need to find speed of boat 2, not just that, we need to find the time taken in hours taken by the slower boat, which is boat 2, because boat 2 takes a total of 6 hours to travel from A to B, to travel downstream. So what have we got to do? We have got to say D by boat 2 plus stream plus D by boat 2 minus stream is equal to 6 and then solve for boat 2 and then the answer is time taken to go downstream or the shorter time this one is our answer and so let us fill this in 12k by B2 plus k plus 12k by B2 minus k is equal to 6 and then find B2 in terms of k and then simplify and solve. So, there are two variables in this equation, but it is actually technically speaking only one ratio. This is k divided by k throughout 12 by B2 by k plus 1 plus 12 by B2 by k minus 1 is equal to 6. Let us say B2 by k we call it as x. 12 by x plus 1 plus 12 by x minus 1 is equal to 6. This is 2, I am going to call it 1 by 2. So, x minus 1 plus x plus 1 by x square minus 1 equal to 1 by 2. 2x, 4x. So, 4x equals x square minus 1. So, x square minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0. x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 5. We solve this, we can get x. So, x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 5 or x minus 2 the whole square is 5. x minus 2 is plus or minus root 5. x is 2 plus or minus root 5. It cannot be 2 minus root 5. It will become negative. We are talking about a nice ratio. It will be 2 plus root 5. Oops, say I erased that. 
x is 2 plus root 5. Now we come back to this. The time taken here this is 12 by x minus 1. This is 12 by x plus 1. We are talking about time taken to go downstream. Slower boat to travel from A to B. It should be the shorter time. It should be this 12 by x plus 1. I am going to substitute that. We are going to talk about 12 by 2 plus root 5 plus 1. 12 by 3 plus root 5. Okay, so 12 by 3 plus root 5, 12 into 3 minus root 5 by 3 plus root 5 into 3 minus root 5. 3 plus root 5 into 3 minus root 5 is 9 minus 5, 4. 12 by 4 is 3. 3 times 3 minus root 5 is the answer. It looks like a speed time distance question, but some up upstream downstream thing, but it's anything but. It's a deep rooted quadratic equations question. We need to be very careful about every ratio, simplification, all of that. And once again, really, really tough question. Hush.